Hello everyone and welcome to the annual Indigenous Achievement Awards. My name is Candace Waskes Lafferty and it's my honour to serve this university as the Director of Provost Initiatives and Community Relations. Joining me today is student leader and wonderful woman that I've been getting to know over the last few weeks putting these plans together. Is We're talking today with Aubrey and La Liberty Piwap Sokonia. She is a, uh, she's my co-MC today and she is a student leader and she is the head person for logistics with the Indigenous Business Student Society over at the Edwards School of Business. And she's joining me live here today at the Gordon Oaks Red Bear Student Centre. And those of you who have missed us and we have certainly missed you, I want to let you know we are open and we're here and we're ready. We are still following protocol, we are still following safety, and we are making sure that your safety is number one priority. So as we gather here today, I'd like to recognize, and you often hear land acknowledgements, but to me, land acknowledgements speak to land connection. And so I hope these words you hear, hear our connection to how we feel about the land. So as we gather here today, digitally of course, we recognize that our Saskatoon and PA campuses are located in Treaty 6 territory and the homeland of the Métis. We pay our respects to the First Nations and Métis ancestors of this place and we reaffirm our relationships with one another. Thank you everyone for joining us today for these celebrations. While we had hoped to be in person this year, the ongoing global pandemic has once again interfered with our plans. We are still navigating an uncertain time filled with many challenges, but it is great to see so many students, families, faculty and staff gathered virtually today to recognize and celebrate some of the many achievements of the Indigenous students of this university. Throughout this week, we have seen numerous events and the community come together to celebrate one another collectively. We have seen the awards, the upcoming IBSS Gala tonight, a Building Bridges event upcoming, our Storyteller in Residence performance tomorrow, an Indigenous artist and scientists talk, and a session about sharing traditional knowledge, all of which we've come together on Indigenous Achievement Week once again to celebrate together. Thank you, Aubrey, and it certainly is an amazing week. <clears throat> We've been hosting Indigenous Achievement Week for many, many years. The events just become more vibrant. This event that we're, we're, we're honoring today is one of the highlights for me. It's both a time to celebrate the accomplishments of University of Saskatchewan students, but also a time to focus on celebrating and uplifting uh, each other and the community that we have formed. This has also been a really difficult year. Um, starting last summer when we first started hearing about the children and being found. And it's taken a tremendous toll on our community and our communities that we live, work and with through. We recognize that our students come from every corner of the nations. And we need to come together and honor those lives. We're presenting to you today 54 amazing individuals who are more than worthy of these awards, nominated through their colleges. And we remember those who didn't have a chance to come. And we honor those through the work that we do. So thank you for, thank you. Thank you for that, Candice. To begin our program this afternoon, I would like to first introduce two elders that work in many capacities on campus. Roland Duquette and Harriet Oaks St. Pierre. Together, they will provide the traditional welcome and prayer. They will be followed by the Métis National Anthem, sung by Cantera Buchert, and accompanied by Tyson Buchert on guitar. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, just a welcome to your um, your school, your uh, awards day. So that's a very important to realize, you know, what what 
developed into your <coughs> into your life to know what you've de what you've accomplished and what you've uh, projected your vision for yourself uh, to to do work for yourself or a career for that matter and it's really important that you realize only you did that accomplishment only you made that uh, change in your life you know to be where you are today and where are you going to walk from here it's another one that you're going to start your own journey into whatever you're going to be pursuing whether it be a grouping of people or just as an individual so it's your choice again where your comfort is going to be you have more choices to do those things in life so we understand you know, the growth that you have within yourself, looking back, the struggles, the, the, uh, the struggles that you went through, how you, you accomplished them, how you dealt with them. So those ones are going to be left behind. Another journey is going to develop into your comfort, into knowing that you are the one that, that's going to do your own walk. Nobody else is going to do that for you. The struggles, you will see them coming more plain. So with that, I give you the blessing today. It's uh, the day to know that you were heard, you were seen, you were acknowledged into your accomplishment and your uh, awards. Eh? Award is something that nobody is going to take away from you. Only you will carry that through your life to show to your children, grandchildren, and your community, and your workplace. So that's the blessing I give you today in Creator's name. Hi, hi, Moestas. Tansi, to all our precious students, I am the elder and language keeper. Harriet St. Pierre Snichashon, you are Tanuikin. I am here to wish you all the very, very best in your future. Thank you for all the hard work you have gone through. We have uh, for your education. We need you. We really need you bad to take over our jobs. Uh, we are all getting older. Us Mitch speakers are all getting older and uh, uh, we count on you to take over our place and continue revitalizing our beautiful language, Mitchif. So you in turn have to teach the younger gen generation to walk the straight path in their life. We will all ask the Lord to bless us. Bon Dieu. Kia kakiusitayan. Tut oma la terre. Pitama marsi kaititin. Marsi kititinan. Anush kamio kisikak. S'il vous plaît, bon Dieu, qui que que tu me tenan, tu si que has ta bouillard, ou ma, les gens de col, sou que si chic, kaya, tu as que si chic. Ta psi si si nan, bon Dieu, tu m'as que si nan, mina, que tu me tenan, Tuichihiachisuchiach. Mina Chishimio, me pishke maya, cocoa kick, limod, tut limod, 
pishishke minan, kanoapa minan, tut li tut li mod ekwa, chipe hitaya woman la ter kakio shitayan, kitimaki kitimaki na kwa noma la ter kakio shitayan bugunju, kishimar si kititinan. Bonju e e ki shi shi kaha tawya marsi marsi. I will now uh, say it in in English the prayer. I'll say in English that I had just said. Dear Lord Jesus, our Creator of all things, first we all thank you for this beautiful day. Please, Jesus, we ask you to bless and keep our gracious students safe and healthy. They had to sacrifice a lot to get the education they so deserve. We are all poor and small. Please, Jesus, feel sorry for us and help us walk the straight path into life. Give us knowledge in looking after our people and to keep Mother Earth clean and happy. Jesus, we ask you, bless Mother Earth as she is struggling to keep clean, healthy, and strong. This we ask of you, dear Lord, and we thank you very much from our heart for your blessings. Thank you. You work so hard, the students. Uh, I am so proud of you, all us elders and language keepers. We are also very proud of you. you know, we know you've worked hard. We know what schoolwork is, how hard schoolwork can be. So we acknowledge you we thank you very much and we love you have a good good straight path to walk on merci thank you very much next forest on the river and across the western plain as the white man journeyed westward to the land of the indian a new race was created a new nation rose up strong hardship as its destiny and its curse to not be long in the land from which they came in the land they helped to build they found themselves the alien found their vision unfulfilled and despite their valiant effort to defend what they believe when at last the battle ended they were only left to grieve we are proud to be matey watch our nation rise again never more forgotten people we're the true canadian The plain they travel from Red River to the Peace Looking for their own homeland that could help them to replace All the land that had been taken and the dreams that had been dashed Their brave heroes now called traitors and courageous deeds now passed but their spirit was not broken and their dreams have never died 
their determination strengthened even while the people cried. As they waited for the battle that would end their years of pain, and the final bloodless battle when the nation rose again, we are proud to be Watch our nation rise again. Never more forgotten people, we're the true Canadian. For the newest generation and the future ones to come. With the past to motivate us, it will help to keep us strong. As we build the Métis Nation, as we watch it rise again, our past loss is motivation to inspire our future gain. We are proud to be Métis, watch our nation rise again. Never more forgotten people, we're the true Canadian. Watch our nation rise again. Never more forgotten people were the true Canadian. Thank you so much to Harriet and Roland for opening us in, up in a good way with our words and intentions. May their words stay with us. And thank you so much to Kintera and Tyson Buchert for sharing the Métis National Anthem with us today. It's always beautiful here to hear from Harriet, uh, Elder Harriet and Elder Roland. Harriet, we hear the pride in your voice for us. Your pride uplifts us and, and sustains us. And uh, thank you for the ongoing support of Elder Roland Tuquette, who leads us here every Monday morning, is our constantly watches out for us. You know, when Roland speaks, um, is always a gift and the pride that he feels the love that he feels for us is is what it's what guides us so thank you to our elders and thank you to those beautiful voices i love i love that it was one of the most amazing versions of that song that i've heard me as well we were talking about it as it was going in just in awe of everything yeah. next we will hear from the president and vice chancellor peter stoichev followed by greetings from Dr. Irene, the Provost and Vice President Academic, and finally, a message from Dr. Angela Jaime, the Vice Provost of Indigenous Engagement. Thank you very much, and on behalf of the entire University of Saskatchewan campus community, I would like to welcome all who have joined us for this special celebration. First of all, as we gather here today, let us acknowledge that we are on Treaty 6 territory in the homeland of the Métis, we pay our respects to the First Nations and Métis ancestors of this place, and we reaffirm our relationships with one another. I would like to thank organizers and supporters of this event for all their hard work, and to acknowledge our special guests, Elders Roland Duquette and Elder Harriet St. Pierre Oaks, Provost Dr. Irene, and Interim Vice Provost of Indigenous Achievement, Dr. Angela Jaime. Today, we are proud to honor the many remarkable Indigenous students who are studying and researching at the University of Saskatchewan and to celebrate their achievements. The Indigenous Student Achievement Awards are one of the highlights of Indigenous Achievement Week, dedicated to recognizing the accomplishments of Indigenous students who make the University of Saskatchewan a better place for all of us. While we aren't able to join together in person this year to celebrate your success, that in no way diminishes how proud we all are to honor your achievements. We are also excited to see what paths you choose to future success on the road ahead. It's important to celebrate milestones and moments like these, and the University of Saskatchewan is proud to be a national leader in Indigenous engagement and student support. Every year, our campus community looks forward to the University of Saskatchewan's Indigenous Achievement Week and the opportunity to highlight and spotlight the contributions of First Nations, Métis and Inuit students and staff, faculty and alumni to this university 
to the city, to the province, and to the country. The University of Saskatchewan is dedicated to being the best place we can possibly be with and for Indigenous students and to fostering meaningful relationships with and for Indigenous communities. Supporting Indigenous achievement has long been a priority for the University of Saskatchewan with our commitment to the principles of indigenization, reconciliation, and decolonization as key pillars of our University Plan 2025 to be the university the world needs. What the world needs now is more space for Indigenous scholarship and to encourage, support, and promote Indigenous ways of knowing woven throughout courses, classes, and programs. A successful campus community is one that is enriched by the contributions of Indigenous faculty, staff, alumni, mentors, and elders, and uplifted by the achievements of Indigenous students, many of whom we are proud to honour today. As a campus community, it is our responsibility to foster a culture of equity, diversity, and inclusion wrapped in a welcoming and safe environment dedicated to supporting all students on every step of their academic journeys. For the University of Saskatchewan, the roadmap to success is now guided by two foundational documents, our first Equity, Diversity and Inclusion Strategy and Action Plan and the new Indigenous Strategy generously gifted by Indigenous elders last summer. Carefully created by the Indigenous community of students, faculty and staff working with elders, traditional knowledge keepers, language teachers and other community leaders, the Indigenous Strategy provides a new path to walk forward together. From the beginning of the process, the focus was to ensure that the work was done in a good way, with a conscious effort to work in an inclusive and respectful manner. We are indebted to the generosity of Indigenous peoples in the community, across the province and from around the country for their care, contributions and commitment to help make this university the best place it can be with and for all Indigenous students, staff, faculty and communities. Today, we are proud to pay tribute to the many outstanding Indigenous students who are already making a difference on campus and in their community, future leaders with bright futures ahead of them. Today, we are honoured to celebrate this memorable chapter in the story of your academic journeys and to take a moment to also thank all of those important individuals who have helped and supported you along the way. On behalf of all of us at the University of Saskatchewan, I congratulate you on your remarkable accomplishments, achievements and awards, and we wish you all a lifetime of success ahead. Thank you. Hello, bonjour, tansi, han, Ilanate, tanse, anin. Hi there, my name is Irene. I'm honored to be here as your Vice President, Academic and Provost. Thank you very much to the elders who have joined us today. We so appreciate your generosity and your guidance. And we're all here honoring your many achievements as successful students at the University of Saskatchewan, showing our strength and intelligences as Indigenous peoples, as achievers at USASC. At any time, and especially in these times, Success at university requires real effort, real grit, community and bold ambition. Thank you for choosing University of Saskatchewan. Your university is a place of bold ambition too. I just wish we could have had the chance to meet, to hear your story, shake your hand and meet your family and friends and, and say to you how proud we are of all that you have accomplished. And, and then I'd also, as I wish to do today, I, I would encourage you to just keep going. We need your success. Our communities need your achievements and success. Imagine yourself as a leader of good things happening. Be that change you want to see. Indigenous Achievement Week is always one of the year's highlights for the university. And we meet to celebrate your journey of success it really feels to me like a journey and I remember one time being with my mother and, and learning a lesson from her about pathways and journeys. I was in the bush with her one time walking, climbing, scrambling along. It was a long trip that we were on. 
going along the pathway and I said, Mum, are, are we there yet? Are we there yet? And my mother, she stopped partway and she said, sweetheart, remember, it is this journey that matters. It's the journey that makes the destination possible. So we're here because of your journey. We're here because the potential of Indigenous peoples has never been greater. There are 350 million Indigenous peoples around the world. That's 10 times Canada's population. Wow! And today your achievement has added to that potential. On your behalf, I'm going to say thank you to all the faculty, staff, leaders, the Aboriginal Student Centre, family and community who have helped your success. Please know that we will, at the University of Saskatchewan, continue to support your achievement and be there for the achievement of all Indigenous students. Our commitment to the principles of indigenization, reconciliation and decolonization are embedded in all aspects of our university plan and our Indigenous strategy, o Pahutan, U Pahutan, which was created by Indigenous peoples and presented as a gift to our university. O Pahutan says we are all in this together. And it's true. We are with you. Count on us. Keep going and be all that you have been called to be. On behalf of the University of Saskatchewan, Congratulations. Hello, my name is Dr. Angela Jaime, and I am the Interim Vice Provost of Indigenous Engagement. Congratulations, students, on your awards. You have come a long way to accomplishing this recognition by staff and faculty here at the University of Saskatchewan. This year, the theme of Indigenous Achievement Week holds great meaning to your accomplishment. All my relations. This phrase is an acknowledgement of the connection and respect we have for one another. Opahutan, Upahutan, loosely translated to let's fly up together, is the indigenous strategy for the University of Saskatchewan, which was gifted to the university on behalf of the indigenous people who created the strategy at a gifting celebration event held on August 20th, 2021. The strategy is grounded in seven fundamental commitments. These commitments reflect important concepts to Indigenous peoples and serve as a roadmap to creating an environment where Indigenous students will experience a positive and relevant post-secondary experience. These commitments are central to the wholeness of Indigenous self-determination, safety, wellness, stewardship, representation, right relations, creation, and renewal. In a time of disconnect from each other and the hope that the near future brings a close to the threat of a deadly virus, we stand with you, the students, to honor your resilience through a challenging time. Your perseverance and determination shines bright as you are honored today for achievements in academics, engagement with community, leadership, and research. Today is your day to share with your loved ones. Well done, and again, congratulations. Thank you so much, President Stoichev. Dr. Irene and Dr. Jaime for your kind words and inspiration through supporting all of us students on campus. Absolutely, your stories continue to lead us and guide us and thank you for acknowledging and sharing this day and your time with us. Uh, we, we're going to now turn our attention to, to the student awards presentations for today. Many of you may not realize that we have been celebrating Indigenous achievement for many years and it's taken over different forms for sure. But we it started way back in 1997, and I know most of our, some of our award winners that might have been before they were born. But I remember the magic of 1997. I remember being a student here in the 1990s myself. And it's, it's remarkable on how far we've come and the evolution of these awards. 
when we were creating the program today, we created a, a short video clip that will profile photos of uh, people you may recognize. And we're going to try and share with you what that evolution looked like, how we started and how we've evolved. So please take a listen. The Indigenous Achievement Awards has taken place at the University of Saskatchewan since 1997. Over the years, the program has certainly evolved and grown to be inclusive of a broader community both on and off campus. We celebrate here today as we had so many years ago with the idea that the Indigenous contribution of this campus serves to uplift and inspire the next generation as it was in 1997 as it is today. Along the way, the, the name may have changed, but the core has stayed the same. I'd like to recognize and thank the originators. And I think about the staff and students of 1997. I think Charlotte Ross, Larry Goche, Walter and Maria Linklater. I think about the students who have come through. I think the change agents of Mary Lou Mitram and Terry Fable. Past leaders like George LaFond, who challenged us to think deeper on the name and, and make it about beyond awareness and to achievement. And finally, I'd like to also thank and recognize the existing Indigenous Achievement Awards Committee who works tirelessly throughout this year, as it was in 1997, as it is in 2022, and into the beyond. Thank you very much. These stories continue. I think about, there are two individuals that I would like to talk about, just very briefly. These two individuals are Indigenous members of the, of the community of this campus. They have served collectively over 50 years of service to this university. And we're here in 1997 when this all began and continue to be behind the camera and in the offices and in the planning rooms today. I'd just like to say a special thank you to John Agresco and to Lori Delorme who have seen the evolution and continue to inspire this work. So thank you. We are a committed group here and just so worthy of recognition. It's so important to learn about the history of the awards at USASC and to know more about the people that have been involved over the years. Being a recipient myself in my second year in school, I have seen firsthand how the spirit of this week continues to live on throughout the entire community on campus. When I was in my second year, that's when I really fully embraced what, you know, this whole week went, meant. Going to events, attending different things, talk, having discussions with award recipients, elders, uh, staff and faculty. And you really get the sense of the power that we have when we come mm -hmm. together. And I think that that's what this week is about because we can get so caught up in our classes mm -hmm. and studying and doing that, that this week is a time where we can, you know, focus on that as well, but we can also take a look at what we are doing as the indigenous community on this campus to, you know, celebrate one another and come together. And this is also, I saw firsthand, how it's about celebrating all students that come onto campus. All Indigenous students, it's, a, it's an achievement in itself to just come to an institution like this, break down the barriers that are in your way, and study and work towards achieving, you know, a certificate, a degree, graduate studies, anything like that. And you really see the power and leadership that Indigenous students take on Absolutely. when they come into this space and how we can uplift them. And I really th believe that, you know, you see the love and the accomplishments and the kinship that we have. And I believe that the spirit from 1997 comes still today and it will just continue to grow more and more every year. Mm. Mm. That's amazing. Thank you for sharing that. It, Aubrey's story is, is a wonderful one. And uh, throughout the program and throughout the award ceremony today, you will be hearing from other past uh, award winners on what that award has meant for them. Today we honor, um, Today we honor 54 students represented by our 17 colleges and schools in five distinct categories. Academic achievement, community engagement, leadership, research, and resiliency. The first category we'll be presenting is the Academic Achievement Awards. It's important to note um, that a lot of uh, the, the students who come to us, they um, are nominated through their colleges and through their schools and um, their stories come through. And I, I invite you to, to, uh, to click on the page for their full bios. Students will be awarded in this category of academic leadership will be for excelling 
in academic studies at this university. Within each ca category, before we honor this, this year's award recipients, you will hear from a past award recipient on what earning an, an Indigenous Achievement Award has meant to them. 54 students represents 54 stories, and we again invite you to read their full bios on the web link. Thank you. I want to start by mentioning how much of an honour it was to receive the Academic Excellence Award back in February of 2019. I never in a million years thought that I would be receiving such an award, and it was so humbling. I was very happy and proud of myself for this achievement. I was also able to share this special moment with my family and my friends. They were such a big part of my growth, and I owe them a tremendous amount of respect and a huge thank you to them for helping me to get to where I am today. I am now a third year teacher and I'm currently teaching in my hometown. I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be and I can't picture myself doing anything other than teaching. This year I have the privilege of participating in a variety of school committees and I'm also currently in the process of completing my Masters of Education in Educational Administration. It's so great to have so many people supporting me in my journey, family, friends and community members. Having people being a part of your own growth is what I believe goes hand in hand with success and allows education to be a positive experience. Don't forget to share this special time with your family and friends and rejoice in this honor. You are all being celebrated today. Be so proud of yourselves, your academic achievements, your community engagements, your leadership skills, research and resilience. You did it. Congratulations and keep up the great work. Sydney Kupenbender, Michif from LaRange. Tina Mitchell, Mohawk of Akwesasne, College of Agriculture and Bioresources. Chelsea Brandt, First Nation Mohawk of the Bay of Quinte and the Taina Dinaga Territory. Brody Burns, Cree from James Smith Cree Nation, College of Arts and Science. Sky Landry, Métis Nation of Saskatchewan, College of Arts and Science. Carmen Larson, Plains Cree from Pelican Lake First Nation, College of Arts and Science. Leah Burwash, Métis from Prince Albert, College of Arts and Science. Jennifer Ward, Cree, College of Arts and Science. Austin Goyer, Métis, College of Arts and Science. Hayden Ulrichson, Lac La Ranche. College of Arts and Science. Samantha LaRose, Birch Hills, Saskatchewan, College of Arts and Science. Justine Hunter, Metis, College of Arts and Science. Cassia Anderson, English River First Nation, College of Education. Jacob Fritz, Métis Nation of Saskatchewan, College of Education. Jared Crane, Cumberland House, College of Education. Desiree Goodhand, Métis Community, College of Engineering. Navan Parsley, Métis Nation of Saskatchewan, College of Engineering. Alex Halpin, Métis Red River, College of Pharmacy and Nutrition. Dana Wellman, Métis Nation of Saskatchewan, Edwards School of Business. 
Saren Novotny, Métis Nation of Saskatchewan, Gabriel Dumont College. Natasha Tanis, Peter Ballantyne Cree Nation, School of Environment and Sustainability. Hannah Solner, Manitoba Métis Federation, Western College of Veterinary Medicine. Congratulations to all of the recipients in the academic achievement category. I can only imagine the excitement you're feeling as you watch this live stream and I'm wishing you and your family all the best. I highly encourage all of our attendees to make sure to go to our Indigenous Achievement Week page on the USASC website to learn more about each of the award recipients. They are linked in a document above the live stream. Absolutely. I love the photos, love the names. I see we've got everyone represented here from the Red River to Pelican Lake. We've got PA there. We've got the Cree from La Ronge, Birch Hills, Cumberland House. For those of you watching at home, we say hello to you. We, we, we thank you. We thank your families. We thank your support systems. No one does this alone. So congratulations to this year's recipients of academic excellence. Congratulations to you all. Our next category is the category of community engagement. Students are awarded in this category for significant contributions to community building. Please watch as we have an intro video from a past award winner and then we'll roll into this year's recipients. Enjoy. Hello. My name is Dakota Norris and I want to say congratulations to each and every one of this year's award recipients. In 2019, I received the Community Involvement Award, which I was very proud of during the ceremony, but I quickly went home and put it away and forgot about it. Until recently, my partner found it and put it on my office wall. Doing so makes me a bit uncomfortable to display my achievements, but I was reminded by her that this award is for me to remember everything that I've accomplished as well as the amazing and supportive community that I'm a part of. So seeing this every day helps me to continue doing the work that I do. Without the support of the Indigenous community, the role models and academics and mentors, I don't think I would have been able to complete my undergraduate. So being Indigenous means being a part of a global community that values relationships as well as reciprocity. Today, I am a coordinator for the U of S Master of Sustainability and Energy Security program, where I mainly work on Indigenous recruitment and partnerships. And in a sort of full circle way, this allows me to give back and support the community that helped me get to where I am today. So with that said, I encourage you to remember all that you've accomplished and to continue to remember that after today and to continue being a part of the Indigenous community. Doing so will give you many opportunities to continue giving and receiving support in ways that are unique to you and over the course of your lifetime will develop you and provide you opportunities that you may not even be able to imagine yet. So with that, I want to say thank you for all that you do and congratulations once again. Jennifer Lenny, Prince Albert, College of Education. Jaira Crosschild, Kainai Blood Tribe, College of Kinesiology. Jody Sierski, Satellite Cree Nation, College of Nursing. Emma Wurzak, Muskeg Lake Cree Nation, College of Pharmacy and Nutrition. Lauren Assant, Métis Nation of Saskatchewan, Edwards School of Business. Yvette Nolan, Kitigan, Zibi, Anishinaabe, Quebec. Johnson Chayama, Graduate School of Public Policy. Fantastic. You know, each one of these community builders, you need to understand the work that they do to accomplish this. This is significant contribution. This is what we do as Indigenous people. We probably are watching these videos right now, watching our relatives scroll by, our community members. Let's uplift each other. Congratulations to the 2022 Indigenous Achievement recipients for community building. 
Um, I'd like to uh, also remind people that, yes, we're here, we're live, we're doing this, we're having some fun, right, Aubrey? <laughs> we are. <laughs> <laughs> and we're also learning as we go. So this has been a wonderful experience, and we just want to keep the focus really on, on, on the people that you're seeing on your screen, the families that are watching. So thank you to that, and I'll turn it to you for our next awards. Amazing. Yes, congratulations to our community builders. Um, but without further ado, we will move over to our leadership awards. Yes. This award is given to students who have demonstrated exemplary leadership on and off campus. Hi, my name is Zuckel Rope. I'm one of the previous recipients of the Indigenous Leadership Award. I graduated in June 2020 with my Bachelor of Science of Nursing uh, and currently work as a home care nurse for my community of care to Kettle First Nation, which resides in Treaty 4 territory. Uh, that award has helped me um, get a position in a management slash leadership role. I currently have a staff of two full-time healthcare aides and about seven casual aides. So I'm managing and delegating uh, their tasks along with having my own task as an RN. Um, this award has helped um, get the position, but also has helped in career development and management as this is uh, the aspect that I'm looking to enter. Um, when I got the award, I was very humbled as you have to be nominated by the school staff and by your peers. So it has, I was taken aback um, by winning the award and I was very thankful because they saw something in me at the time that I didn't see in me. So things I can offer, like words of encouragement is to, you know, use this as um, a starting point for your career. It really does help that people from where you attended school see that you can um, obtain these positions and they help guide you along the way. Uh, congratulations to the new winner um, or to the new recipient, I mean to say, and good luck. Sarah Pocha Tate, Metis, College of Arts and Science. Kristen Wapas, Poundmaker, College of Arts and Science. Julian Chief, Onion Lake Cree Nation, College of Education. Pierrette City, Cumberland House Cree Nation, College of Education. Connor Johnston, Metis Nation of Saskatchewan, College of Education. J.C. Steele, Cody First Nation, College of Law. Hannah Dunnigan, Métis Nation of Saskatchewan, College of Medicine. Amanda Nelson, Montreal Lake Cree Nation, College of Nursing. Danielle Keeler, Kawakatoos First Nation, Edwards School of Business. Dante Carter, Onion Lake Cree Nation, Edwards School of Business. Sarah Goche, La Ronge, Johnson Shyama Graduate School of Public Policy. Jordan Coey, Talet Gitchen Dinji, School of Environment and Sustainability. Don DeGeer, Muscaday First Nation, St. Thomas More College. Charlie Wyatt Swain, New Natu Kavut Community, Western College of Veterinary Medicine. 
fantastic examples of leadership in our community. Uh, Aubrey and I were sitting here and we know almost every person in that category and I think it speaks to the world that they're building and the, move that, the moves that they're making that we would know them and, and be championing them alongside. So congratulations to this year's uh, recipients of the Indigenous Achievement Awards for leadership. It's worthy to note that each recipient will be receiving a framed certificate honoring this day and honoring this award and alongside of it is a very very special pin. Um, it's a pin that we only are giving out to Indigenous Achievement Award winners over the years. So if you ever see a silver, well it's a pewter uh, eagle feather pin on someone's lapel, you know where they get it from that it is, it's, it's a special award the eagle feather representing that strength, that education, and that faith and that belief. And we look forward to distributing the awards to the recipients this year, either in person or in mail. So thank you for that. And I'll turn it over to uh, Aubrey because we've got another award coming up. We do, yes, indeed. And congratulations to our Leadership Award recipients. It's amazing to see familiar names on there, as yeah. Candace had said. Next up, we have the Research Awards. These are offered to students who undertook unique or compelling undergraduate or graduate research. Here are the recipients for the research awards. Michaela Champagne Métis, College of Arts and Science. Nicholas Boudreau, Métis, College of Arts and Science. Demetra King, Laloche, College of Arts and Science. Noreen Taranjo, Cody First Nation, College of Education. Jessica McDonald, Black Lake First Nation Diné, College of Education. Gabriella Antea, Métis Nation of Saskatchewan, College of Medicine. Tina Shaw, LaRange, College of Nursing. Extraordinary work whether you're in the College of Medicine, College of Nursing, Arts and Science, or Education. We proudly present to you this year's awards for exemplary in research. Thank you very much. Aubrey, where are we going? Yes, thank <laughs> you. So our final awards category, sad to think it's coming I to know. the end, but the celebrations won't end after this. No. The final category is the Resiliency Award. This award is reserved for a student who has overcome significant personal challenges to succeed in their studies. Hi everyone, my name is Taylor Rufus. I just first wanted to congratulate you on a wonderful accomplishment. I received an Indigenous Achievement Award in 2016. I was in my first year of university, and to receive something like this at that phase of my university journey, it was so reassuring that I was on the right path. I was absolutely terrified of publicly speaking at the ceremony, but I conquered my fear, and it honestly gave me the confidence to move forward and tackle any uh, challenge that has come my way since. I graduated from the College of Law in 2021, and I'm currently articling at the Provincial Court in Saskatoon under the Honourable Judge Lua Gibb. As I reflect now on receiving an Indigenous Achievement Award then, it's crazy to think that now where I am was exactly where I wanted to be then. If I have any words of encouragement for you, it would be to take this and use it as a driving force moving forward. Personal growth will take you out of your comfort zone, but use that as motivation. Again, congratulations, and you should be very proud of yourselves. Chantel Cameron, Beardies and Okamasis Cree Nation, College of Education. 
Kiefer Paul, One Arrow First Nation, College of Education. Cam Bird, Atakakup, First Nation, College of Kinesiology. Sheldon Bear, Little Pine First Nation, Edwards School of Business. Danielle Poulin, Lac La Ronge Indian Band, School of Environment and Sustainability. Congratulations to all of the recipients in the resiliency category. I saw some familiar names in there and you are so inspiring and to those I do not know, I cannot imagine how excited you are to be receiving an award and I am so proud of you, even without knowing you, that you were a recipient this year. I want to just do one last reminder in our last category to please take a look at the bios for our recipients this year. The amount they have accomplished and contributed to the communities around them is immense and you'll get the full picture of that when you read these bios and hear exactly what they've done and worked towards on our USAS community. Excellent. Thank you. It's probably my favorite category. The strength of these stories, um, it really sort of represents who we are as people. Um, that Indigenous students uh, and, and community members if you could bottle resistance, a res resistance, a resistance would work too, but if you could bottle resiliency and hand it out, I think that's what our students do. They do that for each other. They inspire each other and they hold each other strong. So thank you to those very, very special recipients of this year's award. Um, congratulations. It's time to uh, take time to celebrate this stellar group. It's important because they represent our future. We need to, um, we have something really special planned for you. And you'll notice in the beginning of this program, we began with the Métis Nation of Saskatchewan. And we, or we began with the Métis National Anthem. It's proper protocols, proper respect. We also play the honor song. And this year's honor song was gifted to us a number of years ago by the late Tyrone Tutusis. And we've put together something very special for you today to play tribute to that. This is a song that was created for the University of Saskatchewan. You will hear the words, you will hear the language. And I want to thank Winona Wheeler for sharing this gift with us. She shared with me a story just a few weeks ago that the intention of this song was for all to learn to sing, whether man, woman, child. We all have a place in this song and it's truly an inspirational gift. Please enjoy. Kiche, Kiskno Masun. Higher education. Kiche Kiskno Matugamik. An institution of higher learning. Egia Sotamagoya. A treaty right and promise to education. Sagua Tetan. Let us give a war cry to celebrate and rejoice. Our individual and collective journeys in seeking independence.
Powerful song, powerful imagery. I want to acknowledge the uh, Wild Horse Singers for um, they were there with that that day. And I remember that day in the bowl and Tyrone addressed first year students in orientation and it was powerful words. It's an unforgettable day. The imagery of who we are, our students working in the labs, our children running through the bowl. This is who we are as, as community. And I'm deeply proud of each and every one of our recipients today and, and the culture and community that we build here. We have a home here at the University of Saskatchewan. We do indeed. And, and I do want to introduce somebody, mm. our last speaker, who you know makes this place feel a lot like a home. Oh. Um, as we come to a close, I would like to introduce the team lead here at the Aboriginal Student Centre, somebody who was once a boss of mine as well, mm -hmm. and who no matter what event I go to, what time of day, how long hours it is, he is always there to support the people around him. So please join me in welcoming Graham Joseph. Thank you. Awesome. Well, thank you very much, Candace and Aubrey. I want to take this opportunity to introduce myself. My name is Graham Joseph. I'm the team leader of First Nations, Métis, and Inuit Student Success with the Aboriginal Student Centre. And following the traditions of our ancestors and the teachings of our elders, it's always really important that we also introduce ourselves traditionally. My traditional name is Ach Desimski. I belong to an ancient family called the House Guxan, which is part of the Fireweed Clan, Guskast, from the Guxan Nation. I'm also part of the Wet'suwet'en, as my father clan is Frog. I also want to take this opportunity, of course, to congratulate our award winners. All of you have worked so hard over the last number of years, and we want to recognize and honor you for all of your amazing accomplishments and contributions to our university community and the wider community as a whole. I also want to, of course, thank our organizers today. In addition to Candace and Aubrey, we have John Schelling, Charlene Brown, John Agresco, and the media production team. Thank you for all of your hard work and support in making this a very special day. We would not have been able to do it without you. I also want to take this opportunity to thank our Indigenous Achievement Week Planning Committee. Each year, Indigenous and non-Indigenous students, staff and faculty from across the university come together to organize this fantastic week. A week that is dedicated to showcasing all of the amazing work that Indigenous peoples have done for this institution, but also for Saskatoon and Saskatchewan as a whole. So thank you. Thank you for everybody for all the hard work and everything that people have done this year for making this not only a special ceremony, but also an amazing week. Thank you. I hope you have a great weekend and we hope to see you again next year. Thank you, Graham. As always, you, you, you know how to take care of us and you know how to guide this work. We have deep appreciation. There is not an event that he's not involved with when it comes to the Indigenous community of campus, and he is really what keeps our ship afloat. Aubrey, this has been amazing. You are a past award winner. Yes. You are looking ahead to the future. What messages do you have for those students who may be our 2023 Indigenous Achievement Award recipients? I think it's just, you know, keep pushing forward because so often, you know, in these institutions that are, you know, so large, it's so easy to feel lost and like you can't find your community the same way you can at home. And I think to that, I just say, you know, you know, find where you can, the Aboriginal Student Center, student groups, mm -hmm. different places you can get involved. That is where, you know, I've found a sense of a second home here on campus. And I think for those students just to, you know, find your community, keep pushing forward and keep inspiring others because at the end of the day, you have 
no idea who's watching you all the time, who's looking up to you, and who's going to follow in your footsteps next. And I think just keep pushing forward for those generations that come after us because, you know, they're who's going to be our future. And right now, that's us, and we look at it, mm. and then sometimes it's like, you know, it, is that good? How is that me? But it is. There's so many youth that look up to post-secondary students. Yes. And as long as we just keep pushing forward, finding our community, being kind to one another, then, you know, we'll, we'll always get there. Mm. Well said. This brings us to the end of the 2022 Indigenous Achievement Awards. Thank you very much. Come see us at the Gordon Oaks Red Bear Student Center. Congratulations to all the winners and most appreciation to the family who supports the students. Thank you very much. Stay safe, everyone.